Hello again, this is Kelly and I am back with some channeling. Now, a lot of the channelers that are on YouTube channel directly and so they're able to just say what they're channeling. But I don't do it that way because I'm still learning. It's a craft and it takes years to get good at this. So what I do is I use the pendulum and I also use a QWERTY keyboard and it directs me to the letters and it spells the words out but i can also hear the words as i'm doing it but i find it better to write the words down because i don't always have time to uh, do like live videos and things like that and sometimes i get distracted and also when i am doing channeling oftentimes it'll go off the trail so we're talking about one subject and then it'll suddenly start going personal and telling me things about my own personal life and i don't want to discuss that publicly because it's private and so i write down all the words that are relevant and so when i when i do my channeling it is literally me channeling spirit and what i do is i channel like any other channeler and it's like going on a radio waves so sometimes i can channel into demons and sometimes i channel into spirit guides and i've got the ability to go to deity but i haven't got there yet now this is interesting because when i talk to hillmon which has become a plural which is hillmons they call themselves the council of 12 and when I talk to them, what I have been told is that the reason I usually get through to the demon Ilmons, and there's three of them, then it they serve a purpose. Everything serves a purpose. And I go to places where a lot of people will not go because they're frightened to go there. The work that I'm doing is purely psychological and what I'm trying to ascertain as I go through all this journey is whether demons are internal or external and if they're internal are they just our subconscious minds so I'm not saying when I say the word demon this is what it tells me it is not what I say it is but this was a channeling that I did on the 23rd of December 2023 so I'm going to read it out and it'll probably take about 15 minutes to read this, but this is literally what I channeled. So I am just going to read out what what I downloaded and wrote down because it just feels like it's something I should do is get the word out there. I don't know why, but just do it. Nobody has to believe anything and I don't think anyone should. I think we should all question everything. So this is what I got. There's fear in the streets. You tank top yourselves on purpose. The Council of Twelve are there to guide you. You are on a lonely road with the others. The channelers, because the world thinks you're insane. The race ran across the universe to collect the Chosen Ones. The Chosen Ones are those who can channel spirit only in their own time. You got the gift at the age of 52. Some are there at the start. You're the one we chose to spread the positive messages, the ones about the world events, and now there is a plan to kill most of you. The ones they want gone first are the watership down types. It's the ones who cry about everything, the desolate, the weak-minded and the powerless. You think they want you dead also, and you are so wrong. You got what they want. And we are talking about the empaths, the enlightened, the useful lozenges, the ones who clearly speak out. Why is that, you ask? It's because it's because they cannot be alive without the love of others. They crave the love they cannot feel. They want your souls. They want to make you debonair devi souls <laughs> to feed from you. The element of pain and suffering is used for food. 
they need to freak the population out to Easter egg themselves and throw the wayward souls into the pit of serenity. This is because they are not satisfied with you feeling devastated. This is why they lie to the rest, because they know you are not falling for the lies. You are too smart for this game of life. They need you to stay sorted in your stance and not bow down to them. They secretly admire the strength of character that you possess. You are holding a lot of thoughts in your head about the wand of the light workers and why you are so important in this fabulous time that you are now living in. You will get to see the last war in this part of the earth. There's a slow dance and a slower parade about to take place on this plane. There's no need to worry and stress. Wait until the final battle is won and watch how you thrive again and watch how you throw Easter eggs all down the street. <laughs> the race was already won the moment you agreed to come back here. The race was definitely going to be a tough one. But inside the war zone, the people felt hope that one day this would all end and the time for celebration would take place. The x-ray eyes from the spirit world are on you all. They watch you from above the firmament. This is there to protect you from the others, the wayward ones like you. You need to learn for yourselves the truth about who you are and where you came from and why you are here. The veil of forgetfulness was placed upon you during the birth process. <clears throat> the yodel around the neck was put there on purpose to smother the truth out of you. But why should we have done such a thing, you ask? It's because this is the battle of your soul and the chains and the chains of mankind are placed there to allow you to think about things that most of you do not want to think about. Why is this place to collect the truth? You tell me. It's sad to see you there all alone in your thoughts and no action. Let's change that. The world spins around your head and the time stands still. You are thinking about making a, a move against the plot to take sorry to take the others down but instead you just sit and procrastinate that's no good the time for action is now you are all slowly waking up to the lies but you need to spread the word the word of truth is that you are a flower in a flower pot and fed lies instead of the truth there's no flowers that thrive without the sunshine Go out there and spread the wand of love on the people. They need to hear, they need to hear that they are loved. Folder to the wax-faced demons are the ones who live in fear. And the ones without th fear are the wayward plant pots. <laughs> All ideas of failure are to be gone for now. For now is the time for dabbling in magic. Your own sort of darkness is the razor sharp mind that you possess at times. Wait until you see the rabid holders of hate all toppled down. The wax faced demons, no, the wax faced debonair demons, they are different to the thankless decimal point sort. There are many different kinds of demons. Most reside in human bodies. They chose to come here the same way you did but their role was different to yours. They knew before they came here about the hard state of mind to be so negative because division is their source of control. They hate the shiny people. That's why shiny people get stalked and played for fools until they yodel their own necks no more. Only then are you freed. Understanding that you are not a slave is the first step 
and Uber riding to the fantasy island is what saves you from the darkness. Golden slingshots are flying around the globe. The Flat Earth Masters Desert Tune is the only rainbow as well as the clouds sing to the earth each day. Older of rainbows are the wanting of lobster pots and waxworks. They wander in the submarine and sink to the bottom of the sea and land on the sand. And there they see the earth in a different way. The desert song sings about the rainbows and the rainbows sing about the dark side of life. The weather is amorous, swaying trees in the wind and the sun beating down on the land surface as well as the desert storms. There must be a time when the sun beats and it beats the rain and it shines again on the sloth. You're the wand of love. You will be styling yourself to play the park life song. Be happy in your setting your ways life because you know the truth will set you free. All around you there's a raging war and you are still smiling. That is because you are so protected from the fallout and the war on humanity. The place you call home is Earth, but you see this side only, not the side that lies beyond the Arctic Circle. Boldened women like you all act hindered in certain states, but inside you know your power is magnificent, and dermis on you is thicker than most, and you know it. <laughs> and that's where I got to with that. And as you can see... <laughs> I believe, right, that all writers and artists are channelers. And all you're doing is downloading information that comes to you. And where's it coming from? Is it coming from your higher self? Is it coming from you on another plane of existence? Because we live in a multi-universe, according to some. Or is it coming from spirit? Is it coming from your future self? These are all things that I ponder and go through and I don't have a belief system as such. When you listen to the channeling that I do, the, the language isn't the language that I use. So when it, it says things like um, the useful lozenges, the ones who clearly speak out, I think, what does that mean? And so I have to interpret all of these writings that I get from Hillmon. And one of the things that I'm thinking, should I do, is should I do an interpretation of his language and tell you in layman's terms what they're actually saying or keep it as their own language? Because we all have our own ways of putting our thoughts out there and my the way that I speak isn't the same way as Hillmon and that's why I, I wonder where he really does come from because I don't know other channelers who use these terms but I find it really fascinating if you do I'd like you to come back and listen to some more Hillmon because I love Hillmon and we have fun and sometimes he hates me sometimes he loves me and I get a lot out of it, but I'm doing this because I'm hoping that somebody else might as well. So I will be back shortly with the next one. So I will see you then.